Hello right, everyone, we are back. Travis is actually gonna follow behind me. Um, we're actually going in the same direction right now. Um, wait till he's ready. There he goes. And so he's gonna see if my car does anything weird. Uh, and then we'll uh, maybe have it on sentry mode or something, I don't know. But, um, I'm gonna have to cancel here for Waffle House. It's gonna to want to turn it into Waffle House again. I'll keep on recording this until it's uh, until it goes the right way. As you can see, I won't have the 360 camera on this time. It's just. There's not enough on this route to really justify the extra video footage and storage requirements. Yeah, so it should already be slowing down for this light, and it doesn't. It needs to be more aware of stopped cars that it's like most likely it's gonna have to come to a stop when it sees a bunch of brake lights. Okay, so it needs to be braking much sooner. So much so I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down. We got lucky, the light turned green. Actually, we got really lucky. Normally, the light is red when we get here, so. This traffic is terrible in here because of the leaf season. Everyone's going up on the Blue Ridge Parkway, so this is backed up all the way, as you can see from the, the red right here. As you can see, be prepared for a lot of traffic if you come here during the leaf season. And it's still not done. Um, that turn we just passed was for the interstate to get back on the interstate, which is why it's backed up on our side of the road, because cars coming the other direction, keeping cars from my lane to get over. Uh, so, uh, essentially to say the least, it, um, this, this happens every year. There's a new bridge, I don't know if it's ever, um, very easily seen from the video. There's a new bridge being built right across from the parkway Which should alleviate a lot of this congestion right here um, Hopefully that will be here by next year The guy in front of us really needs a cyber truck <laughs> It must have two horses inside of that and it's really struggling. He has a diesel, but it's really struggling you can tell so I'm hoping right here we're supposed to stay straight and multiple times I've had it try and go around the car in front of me using the left turn lane. We're gonna see if it tries to do, do it again here. Travis is driving so slowly behind me. <laughs> He's given so much distance. He um. He has a 98 score, and it's just like a fraction of a point away from a 99. And it's not even his fault. The auto emergency braking will um, just go off for no reason. I've had mine go off in my driveway. So it's just that the score factor is kind of unfair, to be honest. I checked my score, and it's had a 99. <laughs> and I've been on beta the whole time. So it doesn't count when you're in beta. What happens is it probably I disengage because beta messes up. And because I'm still either hard braking or something else because I disengaged uh, because of the beta, now it's my fault that, that it's braking too hard. So, I mean, at least it's a 99. I mean, I'm sure, I don't know why it breaks there. Um, at least it's, um, what 
what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't think they're like, once this is an actual insurance offering, I would have to believe like anything like 95 and up is basically you're gonna get maximum, uh, the lowest price basically. You're gonna be considered essentially a safe driver. I'm trying to give Travis a little room behind me, but he's not in the middle of the intersection. Well, there's one where I tried to go around the car. That was uh, the first disengagement because it decides it wants to go around this this car in front of us. And it's still trying. It's flipping, flipping back and forth. It doesn't tell this car in front of us is moving yet. Break there for no reason. Hard break again there. I think it's really hesitant to have the shadows on this road. And this is very, very, very common here. We have tons of trees and shadows. Uh, this is, I, I have to say, this is probably the worst it's ever been on any version. At least version 9 and up. I can't, 8 is so far ago back in February. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think 8.2 did it, and before 8.2, that was before January, uh, I'm not really even sure uh, um, how good it did, but um, this is definitely the worst of recent memory uh, in terms of phantom braking on, on a two-lane road. And it braked again with that car coming around the curve. Braked again. This. this is actually slowing very nicely. Normally it would um, wait until it gets closer and brake harshly. It's actually... Oh, it looks like Travis turned. He went the back way. It must be a back way to Sierra Nevada. I just don't... Oh, it's this road. Okay, yeah, he went this road. Sierra Nevada is like somewhere right in here. But yeah, he was going to Sierra Nevada and we we're going our own separate ways. In one mile, turn right Personally, he definitely went the quicker way, for sure. See how it handles this construction up here. It's handling the stop and go traffic, if you will, quite well. Is it gonna get over? Hey, well, I could've gave a little bit more room. I would have get stuck on the road of a bike. Anyways, yeah, I made that, um, made it through the little construction bit right there just fine. So we are at still a single dish engagement for this drive strictly because it tried to go around the car on the road. Um, it, I mean, it has to know, it, it's funny it's trying to do that logic so early that it's like, Okay, there's a car stopped in front of me. There's a double yellow line. I can see cars on the front and the left. Yeah, let's go for it. We're gonna go. We're, we're, we're it, the car just assumes that the car in front of me has like broken down or stopped there. Honestly, it was nowhere near long enough to to make that uh, decision, in my opinion. Maybe if it was like two minutes, it's just been stuck there. I'm like, okay, like, if is it gonna go? You know, and like. And within that two minutes, if traffic comes by, then maybe it should just not go. Um, it, that's one of those things where it needs actual, like, AGI, artificial general intelligence, to, like, gauge. Um, at least this person behind me is going my, this lane, too. I can't see the lane. Like, this is accurate. It doesn't know. It thinks this is one lane. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so it needs AGI to know, to decipher, okay, well, based on these criteria, should I go around the car in front of me? Because that can happen. A car can break down in front of you in the middle of the road. Normally, it should have its blinkers on, but you can't guarantee the car is going to have its blinkers on. What if the electrical system failed in the car in front? So then not only can it not have its blinkers on, it's just dead, it's just sitting there in the road. So the, my car at, at some point would have to be like, hey, <laughs> go around. Um, that would be okay for a level three system, but a level four, it has got to be able to uh, make that decision to get around that car, which is why I personally think we need at bare minimum a computer upgrade for a level four. At bare minimum, and we need a computer upgrade because for level four, you need AGI, essentially some base level of AGI. And it has to make human-like decisions, it has to be able to read facial expressions, it has to be able to read, uh, if someone points in the window like multiple times a day. We had um, the lady, uh, that, that really nice lady on my previous video there, she let me in, she waved her hand like this. The car's gonna need to know that. Because otherwise, um, until everyone realizes there's robo-taxis everywhere, or like self-driving, self you know, level three self-driving cars one day, then they're not gonna realize, oh, well, the car doesn't understand my hand gesture, so I should just go ahead and uh, go in the way. If I didn't take that gesture, I would be probably considered really rude. Um, to be honest, I'm like, the lady's letting me in, she's being really nice to me, and then my car's always like, wow, I'm not gonna take your gesture. <laughs> Screw you, basically. Um, though, I don't know. Uh, it's one of those uh, weird things. It, that's I think we're f I'm confident minimum two years and a new computer we're gonna be required for level four minimum two years I I'm I'm happy if we can get level like good and level three on the highway uh, next like next year or the year after I I'd be very happy with that because highway driving is rip where's the worst this type of driving I can do myself but for the most part and he did it right this time. Every oh wow, that's so good. Just don't get out of this lane. No. Oh. Oh. It was doing so good. That's exactly what it should have done. It's gone over the double yellow early and got in. But it did that last time. It tried to get out of the lane. Let's see if it stays in this lane this time. So that's two disengagements for this drive. This one was actually like, I think a f more fair disengagement. Um, now, it seemed to make that quite aggressively. I, I wasn't even sure if there was a, I don't check my right side because I never intend to get back in that quickly. So I'm gonna definitely disengage if it tries to make a quick lane change like that. And I'm gonna press the accelerator so you know I'm not holding up traffic. I'm letting it do its thing right now. Okay, it went through the turn lane. I'm gonna go ahead and press the video camera for that. I disengaged her last time. I should have this time, but maybe, maybe they'll see the camera again and see how it completely went into the wrong lane. Um, I think in the future, I'm just gonna get more serious about disengaging in those. I don't know. It's kind of fun to see what the car can do at the same time. It's also bad to let it do that, to not disengage, because then it's like the car now learns like, hey, maybe it's okay that I go in the t that path like that. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. The car doesn't know any better. Um, but because I let it do that, essentially now it does. That's why it's important that we get so many people to have this beta. It's important that the, we start letting more people have it. So I'm glad we're doing that now. And um, we just have to be really careful because there's so many people who abuse the system. I'm guilty as charged. I've uh, occasionally done that. Um, but I personally think in a safe manner in a way like there are no other cars around, blah, blah, blah. Um, most people have. You either talked on the phone or something else. Um, so most people have um, incorrectly used a electronic while driving, almost certainly. Uh, is this the right, wow, this is too full. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh, hold on.
holy crap. Um, it, that's just bad nav. It, it should have came in this entrance here. Okay. Right, so that was me just not realizing the map was wrong. It wasn't close enough. It wasn't zoomed in enough for me to see that I was wrong. It wanted to come in the entrance over here. Okay. Um, yeah, this is why you have to pay attention. Oh, it's so easy to make, um, just to not realize what the car is doing. And that's, um, totally my fault. Um, so, unfortunately, you're not gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to walk my dog today. Um, as you probably saw in the earlier videos, he has the cone of shame on right now. And, um, and, uh, yeah, he got some, he got his dew calls removed, so he's not allowed to walk or at least long walk more than just go use the bathroom um, for another week two weeks total so next after next weekend you should be good but um this is gonna be the end of this video i guess i'm gonna count that as a disengagement the final one there but um that was four dising wait three disengagements sorry that's three disengagements so we're gonna destination will be on the and that was the entrance that was going to come out of right there uh but yeah we're just gonna take a loop around here as always, everyone, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you keeping with me. I appreciate all the positivity you give me. Uh, and I will see you on the next video.